Well, for the first time, we're hearing from the partner of Chicago police officer Robert Rialmo. Rialmo is at the center of a wrongful death lawsuit over a controversial police shooting. Today, his partner told jurors he feared for his life moments before Rialmo fired the fatal shots. Here's CBS 2's Jim Williams. I thought my head was going to get split open, Officer Anthony LaPalermo testified. He said on December 26, 2015, he and partner Robert Rielmo were ambushed by Quintonio Legreer, who was holding the bat here at Legreer's father's home. La Palermo, I knew if I didn't get away, I was probably dead. He sprinted down the stairs and attacked us with a bat. There was no time to even say a word. Rielmo fired the shots that killed the 19-year-old. La Palermo quoted Legreer's father yelling four or five times to the officers, you did what you had to do. This morning, jurors heard a different take on the shooting and video testimony from consultant and former South Florida cop Charles Drago, hired by the Legreer family attorneys. He said the shooting was not consistent with accepted police practices. Drago said Rialmo was far enough away to not have to shoot at Legreer. He doesn't have to wait to be hit before using deadly force, right? City Attorney Brian Gaynor asked. No, but an officer does have to wait for a threat, said Drago. Drago testified a cluster of bullet casings from Rialmo's 9mm gun indicated he was on the walkway, while Legreer's body ended up between the vestibule and the apartment of Betty Jones, the innocent bystander who was also killed. Also for the first time in the trial, Quintonio Legreer's mother testified. In a voice barely over a whisper, Janet Cooksey said she loved and missed her son. She told jurors that on Christmas morning, she drove her son to his father's home for breaking an unspecified household rule. As they parted, Cooksey testified her son told her, you'll remember this day. Rob and Erica, 24 hours later, he was dead. That's chilling. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jim.